so weakness acid chain reaction big spot touchable Maybe he's not gonna notice me. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, okay, changed my mind! Holy shit, this was a bad, bad idea. Whoa! I forgot that he can be very annoying. I need, do need to detach those giant S things. Oh my god. Too close, too close. Ow. Yeah. Oh my god, what the... Okay, I think I might be dead. <laughs> Stop it! Bro! Oh my god. That looks great. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no, not this one, not this one, not this one, not this one, not this. Shit. I'm dead, 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 I'm so fucking dead. This is a great idea. This is a very great idea. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, I am way too weak. What the heck? I don't remember this being this flipping hard. Finally. We now have to get the weapon though. Okay, one more down, two more down. Pick up, pick up, pick up! Ow! That's it! 
That's all. This is way more scarier than in the in Horizon Zero Dawn. Ay 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 ay. You don't really have any weapon now, do you? Wait, you actually do. not gonna end well I have a feeling about that oh Eloy why are you doing this to me that it's cheating that I'm staying behind the rock but at the same time it's like well there is a reason that rocks are exist right my fellow hey baby can you just die we don't need to do this to each other anymore just go to sleep Try this weapon on him. Oh, actually, this is pretty good. Nice. Oh, my God. There's no problem using everything you can to defeat an enemy who's gonna call you cheater monster but full of weapons indeed. Damn, this is a hard fight though, like... I didn't think that it's gonna be this hard, like... I remember that it's gonna be hard? Wait, is my bristle back dead? Mm, should it be? Huh. Then why there are bristleback parts just like falling around? Anyway. Whew. That was hard. But 
feels pretty good at the same time that I did it. I don't think that I missed any part. I'm eating so much herb. Oh, there's a wait. No, don't. It's a rabbit. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm taking a treat now. One thing is that it's a bit harder to control the bristle bag than the rest of the mounts that I experienced, but still pretty good. One more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given rite of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. I guess everyone knows me. <laughs> to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. Don't worry, I'm not here this must to be cause trouble. Catalo should be waiting for me. Whoa! But maybe I should look around first. How do I? Uh huh. I'm sure this is how you get there. Save this for a dire. Okay, oh no, I wanna go up. Your famous guard, yes. If I would still have red hair, I could make jokes like, yeah, yeah. Me, to me, but I no longer have red hair. So there is that. Who are you? Wait, I don't know how to play this thing, so never mind. Oh my god, so many quests. Where's Atolo? Is that the champion that. from the East I see? Then yes. I have something to share. <laughs> what you've done for my people is known throughout the clan lands. I'd like to help you if I can, lending you my eyes and ears. Nothing happens in this area without me knowing about it. In fact, I should tell you. We've had reports of rebels in the area. They've been spotted south in the forest. A few have made camp to the southwest, near the coast. More have set up defenses west of here, past the bulwark. And we don't have enough squads to deal with them all. Best be prepared when you're out there. Hey. Thanks for letting me know. Maybe Thanks. I can help those to knock deal with the rebels when I have the time. Any part of the trail I should watch out for? This right. 
carefully written Karshak lives with Fashav's personal mock, evidently part of a diary or journal. My first venture into the sheer side mountains has been marked by dry cold, biting beauty and humbling admiration. Whereas the desert clan is forced to use old verdurins as the foundations for their settlements, sandmakers for poor structure support, the sky clan sees the high peaks of for strategic advantage. And I must admit, being former Karja High Command, I thank the sun that my people never pushed this far into Tanak territory. We would not have enjoyed it. I would expect the, the sky Tanak to be nomadic like the Banuk, but quite the opposite is true. The clan wars molded them into a recursive faction that takes pride in their defensive cap cap capabilities. Stonecrest is a formidable example. Serving as both border outpost and hunting station, it provides an unobstructed view of the surrounding area and precise control over its entry points. Any hostile force vying for access to the valley would undoubtedly suffer massive losses. My trusted escorts, both of Hakaira's lowland clan, showed little enthusiasm for my diplomatic mission to improve relations with the commander Tekote. They grow ever more silent as we close in on the extravagantly colored sky margins. My military and tactical observations are met with brooding looks. This has me confused. They accepted the Karja as marshal after mere month, but the bad blood between clans still lingers after two decades of Hakaro's peaceful reign. It will be enlightening to hear the Sky Clan's perspective on such matters. Meeting this Tekote fellow should be interesting. It's Karja. I think it was left behind by Marshal Fashop. Oh, hello. This is the guy who got his arm. Is he weird? This valley is infested with regardless rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. That's not good. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts. Especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. We should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. Where's my mouse? For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. If he insists on defying Hikaru's orders, an outlander and a maimed marshal aren't gonna change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here talking to you. Well, everyone knows me, but no one likes me. Cool. <laughs> what makes you so sure Takote won't listen to us? A snake safe in its lair. He has nothing but its own rattle. Come on, is that all you've got for me? Hikaru said you were from the Sky Clan before becoming a marshal. I need to know what you know. Takote is a petty, vindictive schemer. If he had any guts, he would have gone after Hikaru long ago. But instead, he covets the chiefdom from behind the bulwark, biding his time, hoping that his foes will weaken one another. Is that enough for you? No. For now? Why do you think Regalus forces are driving machines through the valley? We've heard similar reports from across the clan lands. The rebels I mean, are gathering we just machines from saw the it. wilds. But whatever control they have over them doesn't seem to last. So they herd them into camps. Something else happens there. Something... Something that makes their control permanent. An override with two phases. I... don't know about that. But it gets worse. We've heard rumors that the rebels are scouting larger machines. Oh no. I don't know what kind. Let's hope they don't learn how to override them too. Hmm. 
I think they already did, honestly. You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. <laughs> what makes the bulwark so impenetrable? It's made of massive boulders, impervious to any frontal assault. No army or machine has ever penetrated it. I am the only thing that can get you inside. If we're done talking, that is. No, we're gonna talk forever. What is this I know place? nothing about this new world. I want to talk, bro. Stonecrest was built as an outpost back when the clans were still at war. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to the valley, as well as keep watch on what happens below. And for now, that means keeping watch on Regala's forces. <laughs> like, for real? <laughs> I'm not just gonna skip through. I, I want to know. Just to do more than just look on. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Rogala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Ah, we're gonna fight. I can't sneak. will be easy. Never is. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get this over with. How would you convince Dakota to send his challengers? I wouldn't. <sighs> Come on. To knock the respect of Blade and the strength of the fighter who wields it. No good is anyone who lacks that. Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's what territory? On. Yes. The clan is against who? The other Tanakh clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, talk to the chaplains. When you left the Grove, how did you know I'd agree to help Akara? When the chief wants to persuade someone, he succeeds. I mean, he has a very threatening aura, that's for sure. And he's a big boy. Rebels ahead. Hacking away at that machine. Can you let Got me them. go? I will sneak so around. There's nothing on my clothes. All right, fellow. Sneak around, sneak around. Can I really sneak around? Only three of them? That should be easy. Okay, where is my rock? Smoke bomb? Rocks. Ah, oh, should have redirect this way. No, don't get out of the thing. I guess we scared them off. Pull yourself together. What do you have to report? Feeling antsy. Oh. Need to get some training. Any sign of the enemy? Another watch. Another long watch. Halt, Outlander! There's a Nora warrior here. What? How did you see me? What? Where are you? What the? How the heck did you see me? I was sneaking so perfectly. What the hell? 
Au, au. Good. Onwards to the bulwark. Like for real. How did he see me? Easy to have a full sense of safety. I take my legs off from the Ottoman for a moment and Bojo is like taking over both More of it in in a second. Where? Oh boy. Okay, what if? No, I want the. Wait, that's not blowing up. What the? Fuck. <laughs> the bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. Oh, I see what he means. But with all those canisters and stuff like that, this can be easily destroyed. Especially if they override some big machines. There's no way this would survive. Whoa. That sounds cool. Oops. I just hit something. I don't you know there. what I hit, because it's dark. A marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, marshal. I'll send the lift for you. I like their colors, I like the purple. These like purples Back and again. blues and the little green meshes so the snowy place very well. Come on. Nobody drink my coffee. Sorry. Yes, I am. Praise me. Well, this is a warm welcome. An outlander and a maimed marshal. A spectacle. <laughs> Reminds me of where I grew up. I never decided which was worse. When they shunned me or when they stopped and stared. Right now. Right now you what? I didn't finish it, buddy. Hello. We're here for Takote. Let us in. Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Route. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow. 
If he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls, our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. I don't like this guy. And what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. Oy, 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 oy. You were a great warrior once. That was then. You tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here for as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. You're delusional. I told you, words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? Is she gonna destroy that wall? That would be very... not cool. Like, that's a bit too much. For sure. Time to scan the wall. Aloy, I don't agree with this and what you're about to do. Just what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. I need to get closer. But how? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall. Near that waterfall. I really don't support this, but I don't have a choice. Waterfall? Where do you see a waterfall? Oh, I see. Is this? Where is this water coming from? Is this some kind of waterfall? Yes. The water is flowing into the wall. Or it's a hollow, maybe. Rocks here might give way if I pry at them. Oh boy. Into the darkness. Now, better scan that tank again. Power core. I'll bet if I blew it up. Can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. You know, you shouldn't do this, but oh well. Because the moment this wall is blown up, they're gonna attack them. said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark, right? Don't remind me. So, we take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? <laughs> I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock Even and metal. Even if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. Oh boy. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? Mm -hmm. That was 
was an unkind comparison. <laughs> okay, I kind of started to like him. And then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Yes. Pretty much. Yeah. Oh, you may lack sense. You don't lack courage. So, um, back there with Dakota, it seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. All right. I'll hold you to that. Stuff for the stash. With the shot. Is it? He ran away. Oh no, her face. She's cold. We're getting close to where we saw the rebels before. Well, it looks like the rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? What the heck? Um... Um... Oh no. You wanted your cannon, and that thing has them. This won't be easy to take down, especially with this. I'll handle the big guy. You focus on the others. I'll follow you in. Holy heck! An elephant? A mammoth? That's pretty cool. Maybe I actually. should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus. Oh shit! Load up, squad. Soon we march. Only one help here. The Sky Clan will fall. <laughs> No, I want... Uh... Oh, 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 there is something there. How am I gonna get there, though? That thing is scary, though. Is it gonna notice me? No. But if that girl comes back, I will try to. Oh, she's not. No. Mind if I do? Oh. Oh, it's empty. Okay. Shit. That's not good, though. Uh. Ah! What the? I'm gonna be so dead. Okay, um... Oh, this is a bad time to do this. Bro! This elephant is not kidding. Ow. Wait.
Ouch. Who is shooting at me? I don't see them. Oh, she's here. My stomach is out. Oh my god. Where is he? Oh, I have no ammo. I see. That makes sense. I'm in the wall! Ah. You know what? I will try to use this. Ouch. Ouch. Poor thing. I really don't want to do this to you, honestly, but I have no choice. Oh my god. Okay. What a lovely elephant we have here. Shit. Oh god, I don't have any more HP push. No, 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 please don't die. Aloy, 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 drink it. Fuck. What is this lag? I'm really lagging right now. What is this? What is happening? This game don't crash. I'm really lagging. What the fuck? My author is not lagging though, so... sure about that bruh oh no there is someone else somewhere Is yelling somewhere in the back. 
Where are you? Huh? Hello? Where are you? Dude, where are you? Oh my god, I could have just shot the elephant from this thing. That's pretty cool. Is he up there? It's like, I really don't see him anywhere. Let me go up in a sec. you bro there you are I see oh 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 he was some Oh, there he is. You die here, Outlander. Why the heck is he? Oh no, he's inside the flipping rock. Are you kidding me? Face me. Oh. Hi, Yulina. Well, I guess I'm hitting a rock. And just waiting for him to die. My game is really having issues though. But I already looted. Oh wait, okay. Never mind, this is a different kind of thing. I'm not looking forward to hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Hmm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. No, you really shouldn't carry that thing. What's up, Yulina? After you. Back there. I did not think we'd survive. But killing the rebels and the machine. It was good. I'll take the fight to them for once. You really think this thing will do the job? Probably. He can really carry that thing on his back. Let me... Let me snatch it. 
Oh my god, this is the wrong one. It's gonna go away. Is this a die? <gasps> a purple die, maybe? Azure blue. I'm sure they're gonna be happy that I destroyed their precious well. Here it is. But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up. Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks so I can expose the power cell. Isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves and leave this poor mountain alone. No, no. This is your last chance, Takote. You can still answer Hikaru's call. This is your last chance. You have it backwards. Oh leave my this God. Place, is Savage, he now, like fine? Take this cripple with you. <laughs> the frame rate is great. I'm gonna restart the game after this. Maybe that will help. Now you have to join Hikaru. Never. Never. We will... We will rebuild it. Immediately. You are not safe. The bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon. Let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challenges would be sent while the clan remains safe behind the bulwark. Mm. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look mm. forward to I think we just got a new enemy in the arena. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takote's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the culvert. Good. We may need another miracle there as well. I am the miracle. Don't worry about it. I got you back. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, thank you for the rings. Welcome everyone, welcome, welcome. Let me give you a shout down.
This is a perfect time to restart my game. <laughs> you were faster. <laughs> Welcome everyone. What are you playing with? Shin Megami Tensei 5. That sounds like a Japanese game. Hi Ariel. Welcome, welcome. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I go up there. See if everyone's all right. A vehicle find the chaplain. Go find a campfire. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. Brave to show you. Ah, she who are you, Chaplain Jera? Ah, Jera. Katara said I should talk to you to see if you need help. Bold move, wallbreaker. Burying Takote's pride beneath the bulwark's rubble. Mm. I was just at ease. Many in the clan agree with you, and Marshal Cotella was right to send you to me. There is something you can help with. A few of our soldiers followed him to the embassy at Baron Light against Takote's orders. Right. I remember Cotello showed up last with only a few representatives from the Sky Clan. When those soldiers returned home, Takote reassigned them to an old watchtower, one we had abandoned to the machines. He insisted that with war brewing, it must be reclaimed, but those soldiers are serving no one out there. If, however, they were to return by request of Hakaro's champion, Takote wouldn't have the backing to deny them. Okay, I guess when their I gotta do that. Supports their return. Tell a few soldiers to come home and give Takote another black eye. Sounds easy enough. <laughs> Go to the cold rushes, a long stretch to the west. The Let watchtower stands spookies. beside the falls. Speak to Kiva there, the squad's leader. Good luck. Okay, call and response. We should do this. Now there's one more quest. Two more quests. What's going on here? The wall breaker. Jekka's brother here went off to get himself killed. He'll finish the climb. I know it. <laughs> Not likely. My brother Pento left to climb the March of the Ten to get his soldier's mark. They were supposed to be done by now, but he's not back yet. Jekka, Lataka, to your training, now! Your brother should have stuck to his cleaning duties. Why is she so mean? Mind checking up on the march? If I leave, my squad leader will kick my ass. And I don't want anyone thinking I'm worried about my brother making the climb. Because I'm not. I get it. You can't miss the path markers. They're by the waterfall west of here. If I head that way, I'll see what's going on. Thank you. No slacking, soldier! I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Pento, you better stay safe. Mm. And that one should be up there somewhere. Yes. If we want to reclaim our honor, then we must do so in battle. Can I ask what you're arguing about? Oh, Sariva won't let it rest. She insists our comrade Farika flew on the wings of the ten. But I say, hanging on to a stormbird for dear life isn't the same. A Tanakh throwed a stormbird? She went up in the air. But road is a stormbird. Ha! <laughs> huh, you admit it. You're talking about her like she's no longer around. She's not. After she grabbed onto the machine, it flew off with her to that mountain top. The Stormbird still circles the peak, but we never saw Farika again. That's sad. What a way to go. I'll say. A shame no one can reach that mountain top. She was a great soldier with armor to match, and it serves no one lying up there. I'm a pretty good climber. No doubt, but unless you want to try what Farika did, there's no realistic way to get up there. Oh, please, I'm sure there no. is. I don't care what you say, she flew. Good day. Are you Kiva? I am. And you. You're the outlander who killed Regala's champion at the embassy. Ram Squad was there. We saw your duel. Pavalo still owes me shards. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. Chaplain Jera sent me. 
It's time for you to go home. Chera's cracked then. There's no way our commander will allow us to leave our post. Not after our insubordination. Things have uh, changed at the bulwark. Dakota won't be able to stop you. Really? He's finally been taken down a notch? All right then. The last member of Ram Squad is on duty at the tower on the mountain. Let me recall him. That's odd. His echo always answers. One of us will have to go up. I can get up there easily. I'll check on him. Much appreciated. The start of the climb is just across the falls. Try not to break your neck, yeah? Don't worry about it. I found a like a thousand meter back to the bowl. High mountain and I live, so what about his deck? They really reverse the line. Climb. Even better than before. There's something there. There's some kind no. of machine. Something I watched over. It's not mm. a good sign. It's okay. I gotta take out these machines before I can look around. The machine could swoop down on me if I'm not careful. Beaks. Detachable, 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 weak point, chain reaction, all right. Everybody dead, you mean? Judging by these wounds, the Sky Drifter surprised him. At least it was quick. Eva sounded her horn. It's a different call from before. I'd better get back down to the watchtower and check on them. He's gonna kick himself for missing that, but... Thanks for the assist. Is his oh, on his so way down? the birds. Actually, the machines got him. I took him by surprise. I'm sorry. What? He was the first of the squad. Our best fighter. He's gone, Kiva. It's just the two of you now. Damn, Dakote. All we did was go to the embassy, follow Chief Akaro's orders. And what do we get for it? A death sentence dressed up as guard duty. All because Dakote has a vendetta against the chief. Well, that ends now. Yeah. Thanks, Outlander. Here. This is for you. Pavalo! We're moving out. Well. At least we have. Dakota's politics got one of those soldiers killed. But at least the other two get to go home. It's another part of the ruins. Turned into a fighting ring. Whoa! They know a battle is coming. Rigala can try all she likes. We'll crush her. I hope you're right, Marshal. Aloy. 
It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Katalo yes. helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Katalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. I mean, I bet yes, I can be. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the Ten. I'll see you when this is done. There's armor in that chest. Take it. It might prove useful. Oh, no, I'm blind. Actually blind. I'm usually watching Sims on my family's Wi-Fi, which Focus is super fast, but now I'm machines. watching on my own Wi-Fi, which is Take super fast. I'm watching it on the Oh no! Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, chaplain. That must be Watch suck. each other's backs. Dismissed. But that must suck. I don't know. I let it English go for today. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below, but from above. <sighs> Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. Let's see. I'm sure this will the go well. Is upon us. Our struggle demands new blood. Ah, uh, I new see. Leaders. It still sucks though. But I guess you can get used to anything, really. Oh no. I guess this is the last time I'm using my pinny <laughs> <laughs> uh. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory. happy to play Here they come! 
The game, well, it's kind of struggling, not gonna lie. With my avatar. I am firing! Fuck. Fuck. Oh, the big guy. We need to get the big guy. What the? What the? What the? What the? That's it? What? Oh, the... Okay. Oh my god, stop it. Oh, there's a big guy. Bigger guy. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay. Holy heck. That's not many. This Lib. It's really not, but hey, this is a PP. How are you, Lib? I don't know if I asked it already. Also, are you here, Yulina? Probably not. What is that? I don't know. Oh no. Can you can you give a shout out to Liv and Iria? Because I kinda of forgot to do that. Is that the be wait, is it a snake? Oh, oh I just finished the painting and the sun calm down. What what did you paint? Thank you, Yelena. Oh, here she is. As a PP owner, I am offended. <laughs> Guess what? My Wi Fi's name is also PP. <laughs> I'm not joking, <laughs> it's really what, what it's called. Yes, that's a snake. Yeah, you're dead. I knew that it's gonna be chaos. Are you sure this is a good idea? Oh my god, I keep missing this. Ow. Um, maybe I should scan. Ow! I... what the... I'm stuck in here. Oh 
Oh, what is this? Attack? Ow! Oh, and I'm out of herbs. That's great. Where is it? Come on! I am trying! Whoa. Yes, that hurts. Ow. Ow. Yeah, I don't think that did anything, honestly. Fine, this is fine, this is fine. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. What are you guys waiting for? Shoot it, baby! Oh, I swear I'm gonna catch up on the messages <laughs> once it's done. <laughs> What are you firing at where? His HP is not moving. I'm moving its HP. What are you doing down there? Too close, too close. Too close. Oh my god, I literally jumped at the very last moment. Ouch. Okay. I need to gather more of this shit. I'm trying. Ow. Did you even sh shot him? Whoa. But he's down, pretty much, so... Ow, 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 ow! Ow! I wanted that herb, but it's fine. Got it how? Where? Which one? Not this one. Oh. 
Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Bro, this will never end. Can they not, like... Aim? giving me any medical herb pick up pick up pick up run 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 oh he's almost dead Give me, ah! Ah! God, can you shoot him, please? For real, man. See what happens here. Oh, they really messed up this place. How am I gonna get to either? Oh boy. Oh boy. Is he gonna die? Eloy, I don't think you can hold on to that. No, Catalo is gonna die. Or not? Maybe? Oh no, they live. Go away. Coward. Yeah, she is strong. This isn't finished. I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. I really like your design. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. <sighs> I failed. I should have finished. And I could design a lot more than his. But I know she has it back with like the conscious is right. Strong. But I like it like more. I'll yeah. I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then, but I believe in you now. So oh. leave me and get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the ten. Oh, let's go! Finally! This is it. 
Maybe there's below. Oh, maybe I don't wanna follow. What was this place? Hello? Go down more? There. That console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. I do want to look around here, though. There is one thing there, nothing else as I can see. The vision of your world has changed. The words of the Ten are now clear to us. Oh? Here, this must be the vision that Chief Ikara saw years ago. All of the visions are changed, and this one just... arrived. Okay, I'm gonna check in. Uh, museum from Terence Goodman, the Steve Perkins. What the hell, Perkins? Data corrupted. Ever partitioned the cluster without telling me again? We had power surges all over the place, including one in the main building at 8:31 p.m. Right when Director Kardori was heading out for the night, the gold mountain hallway lit up from total darkness right as she walked by, and it scared the living shit was out of her. <laughs> she was pissed, dude. What are you trying to do? Get us all. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so the, the visions are clear, currently, and I'm on my way. Please, Aloy. Come here. Oh. Whoa. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one? It, it just appeared. Is this your doing? Visions have changed. the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines. Scarcity of food and water. Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened uh. my conviction that when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction as we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. I see. So weird to see them doing it. <laughs> so out of place. True soldiers. The frame rate, I'm crying. 
Commander. Coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? <laughs> Should be interesting. That is true. I kinda like him now. He was... Yeah, he was a bit yeah at the beginning, but I kinda like him now. He's honest. He's right. a bit stubborn, but I need honest. To get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. Might be worth checking out. I do want to check the holograms out. May we all fight with more skill, skill, Outlander. Join JTF-10 for a covert operation deep within the rainforest. JTF-10 protected assets critical to the insurrection. Deep in the jungle, concealed by mud and darkness, they laid their traps for their enemies. Oh, now we can fully understand it, not just like parts. Regal is coming for Hikaru. It won't be long. Observe the grid of JTF-10 in the mountainous regions of the hot zone. Trained to outlast, conditioned for any climate. JTF-10 were elite defenders in even the most remote mountain landscapes. Discover how JTF-10 claimed home field advantage ah. in the desert. Today is a day for pride. JTF-10 There will be blood spills today, all across no the doubt. Desert. Where others feared the Mojave's raging sandstorms, JTF soldiers used them for cover, crippling enemy supply lines. Imagine, like, seeing these when they have no idea about technology. Oh, there's a quest? Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them, then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the Chief still lives. And hope remains. I really like your hair. But that's not why I wanted her to speak with and you. Her outfit. I need a favor. She's really stylish. A personal one. My grandson, Kavo. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner. No. He joined them Oof. willingly. This like must be tough. Young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him, convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. I will help next time. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. Next time. Maybe mm. probably take some time to do the side quest. 
imagine what else. Joint Task Force 10 acted as one. Because I have like 10. <laughs> their bodies and weapons were always honed for battle. Meals, ink, bruises. These daredevils of the sky shared it all. What kind of quest do I have? So, I oh, is it outwards? I'm going to petition to join that Lowlander challenge. Oh. The Outlander should be more careful. This F-38 Razor Wing is one of only sur one uh, mm, 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 is one of only four surviving planes used by Joint Task Force 10 during the Hot Zone Crisis, a sixth generation VTOL multi-role combat aircraft. It was designed for an air superior. Yes, <laughs> I give up. All this sweat, and I'm yes. still not cooling off. We should try. Champion, I fear we must lean on your strength and generosity again. Just tell it to her straight, Ducca. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena? But the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Not a new hand painting, yes, I even know what you're doing. The protecting the field is How was your day? We need it in case a machine runs amok, and it was damaged during the cool route. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but... the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. A wide variety of machines will be available. And I will award you prizes for victory. Not just oh. from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. Alright! To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. When you're done, bring the parts to me at the maw of the arena, on the northeast side of the grove. Okay, I'll see what I can do. One more thing, if you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers. Oh, I do have a bag. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I'll make sure they return to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. I've already found some of those tags. I don't have anything to pay you with here. Bring them to me at the Maw of the Arena when you can. Okay. Thank you, champion. And please don't forget the parts for the ballista. <laughs> oh, no, really. Yeah, I hope your boss let you go for this week to rest. That's good, okay. But make sure to rest. Uh, like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around. Aaron, Aaron. it's here! Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? <laughs> Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. And yeah, that's music! <laughs> Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. He's so clumsy. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with Oh, please, Aaron. 
I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I see glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh, oh. Uh, uh -huh, training, okay. right. Right. Wink, wink. Training, sure. Oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. The old ones like to dance. Well, they didn't have two left feet, like I do. I could teach you. Don't tempt me. By the forge, find an inn and leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, Erend, I... Yeah, I agree. I want to apply this look, though. At first, there was something urgent that I needed to do with Onyo. I mean, I'm just jealous, okay? Because I really liked war, but... Oh, well. Hey. Hey. A uh, nice place. Well, it's... Not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh... Why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But... Uh, don't worry. <laughs> That's nothing I can't handle. Right. They can urge in these nuts? Yes. Rejected. Well, technically she wasn't. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do. Sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful. For once you I know. agree. Same. It takes some time, but... Yeah. Same. They should have back you I'm sure there's someone else taking care of things when you're you out. know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just you're wish welcome. they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land when he's not getting all tongue tied. I don't know what makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So, Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I gotta go. I'm here if you need anything. Let's talk with everyone and then go to Gaia. Wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah, and Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. With the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Varl. How's, uh, training with Zell? You know we really are training. Mostly. Uh-huh. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Sure. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. 
and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, the tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Farrell. That one Zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop yeah, us but... from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second, I thought I was talking to my mother. <laughs> never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Errant definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. Okay, Think now you can hold so the while I'm gone? If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe <laughs> that sounds familiar. We'll be fine. <laughs> Not me doing that when I found the new song that I really like. Can't blame him. Farrell looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No, for now I must leave the tribe behind. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the Old Ones. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us, so we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system nurture them like the land gods do plain songs fields it does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal did gaia tell you anything about the zeniths she did though it wasn't exactly easy to believe to think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here it is Humbling, to say the least, and heartbreaking, that such life should be bent on destroying ours. Yep. Oh? So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakhs? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the Plains. Yeah, I think we met one. 
Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes. The Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids. But Varl tells me that she too suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah. She's one of the good ones. Trust me. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. Mm -hmm. I suppose. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. Hmm. Right, okay. I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. And I also want to talk with Cotado. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Huh? Oh, there's a chest? What chest? Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodations. Uh huh. Wink, wink. If you keep frowning that hard, you'll get wrinkles. I just don't get this last part. Maybe we can look at it together later. Have a conversation about it. I'd like that. <laughs> Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Awesome. Any showers? Where is our guy? Looks like Aaron and Catalo moved their stuff in. Hmm. Okay, but he's not here. So. See in the bathroom? No. Good. Door is locked until Gaia can restore access. Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. That's pretty cool. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while. I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. Oh, I didn't want to go to the desk, but sure. Okay. All right. This is the rite of passage that Vishav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. Yep. Nice to have my room though. That's an exit. Is it me or did the old ones just look funny? Funny how? Yeah, they're close. They're weird. Oh, so there he is. This room's changed. That is. Is that your doing, Gaia? Mm. Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... vision you keep in this place. Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything, 
But all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. <laughs> what are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So, I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This Hephaestus, it will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. Hmm. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. What do you think of our squad? They squad. <laughs> eager to fight. Though I admit it is strange to see an Utaru in the ranks. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. She seemed pretty effective when she took out the machines that were guarding this base. Interesting. Perhaps I am mistaken. Okay. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hakaro and your people. Doors always open here. I will. May the ten walk with you. Uh, let's check this machine. Ah, oh, that I'm missing things. Oh well, I really should make a list what I need, but right now let's talk to Gaia. I will make a list next time. I am home! Welcome back, Aloy. When you're ready, please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Ether's home! So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia? That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. The sub-thing is one thing, do thing, yes. thing, yeah. Yes, the yes. The transmission <laughs> occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. SOS. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone or something else. You don't think it's actually Eleuthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code, a distress signal, a desperate plea for help. Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection, or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. Oh yeah, that's kind of sus. Aware, I no longer function. Okay, so either Eleuthia is in trouble and sent the message hoping you were out there, or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So, maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond and reveal your location. Possibly. 
However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them then. Maybe silence? We haven't heard from him for quite some time. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. Alright, I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erin and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. <sighs> Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Okay. Aloy. That was sneaky of you, patching in Varl and Aaron to our conversation. <laughs> I am pleased you accepted their help. Is there something you wish to discuss before you depart? So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel. It used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there, one not related to Zero Dawn, Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project, and it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from Maybe the you two can be world, friends? An effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no oh, success. No. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right, because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well, that's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However, Climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. It's not too Such far away from us. Such see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the US military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley. 
until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. We can talk next time. I'll be on my way. I wish you safe travels. Oh, what is this? Gaia, what is this? It is a control console for a drone based imaging system connected to this dome. Huh? I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. If I find the drones out in the wilds, I could get the data from them, use it to reconnect them and restore the display. Hey, another thing on the list. Cool. Not this one. The ever growing oh. list to do. The door's unlocked now. Which one? Uh, this one? It is. Gaia, what was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Oh. That's too bad. Right. <laughs> Same thinking, Eloy. Huh? People, There's people. Data here. Another room. What for? I'm gonna check my quest in a sec. How many I have? Wait, I do want to switch to a private lock. Okay, so. Regional Control Center 9. Design of the facilities coming along. When Gaia finally builds it, it'll have everything it needs. Except personality. So, I'm going to sneak in my own mark. A, a couple of flourishes. Starting with this little tucked away hideout. August would have gotten a kick out of it. He loved hidden passages, like the kind in old English castles. But I've got something bigger planned. My piece de resistance, if you will. I can't. I, I want to go there. Oh, no. I'm back in the sleeping quarters. That's kind of cool. How do I get to this though? I guess later. What do you need? So, I have one main quest really. Why is it on hold? Oh, I need to complete that quest first. But like I have three side quests. I have three errands, two salvage contracts, a hunting ground thing, a mil free melee pit thing, one arena thing, <laughs> three rebel outposts. <laughs> cool. Oh my god, there's more. One relic ruins. This run thingy and some collectibles. Cool. I'm not gonna bore board for sure Unbelievable. 
I do want to save though. Yeah. Cause... That one was called Hades. <laughs> there she is. You I was kind of planning out? to leave. Let's go. Let's go. Look at us. Three battle hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. When you started, I was like, oh, that's not that many. Then you kept going, yes. <laughs> Well, next time I will finish this song because I can't really do anything other than um, finishing this song. Wait, do I have to do this right now? Oh, fuck. Uh, this distress call had to be up a really steep um, mountain, huh? I hope there's gonna be a campfire up there where I can see. Oh, not really looking like that. Oh yeah, that's a uh, future lady. Vermin. What is that? What the hell? I can't believe that actually worked against the future ladies she had oh well they blew up now. Good job. Well that takes the keg. Oh I shouldn't call it be freezing my everything off. Yeah, how is Eloy not cold? <laughs> what happened here? Burl, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. I really need to go to the bathroom though. Isn't there like a campfire oh, here? Obviously more zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Uh, almost didn't make it. Ah, oh, down there. Okay, well, I guess I will not eat. Oh, this snow's coming down. But I really need to get up for a second. Because I need to run to the bathroom. Oh boy, I really had to go to the bathroom. But I am back. And my dogs want some attention. Okay. Whatever the rebels did. It took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield, too. <laughs> what about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? 
What? It looks like she can make it Hello, come Verbena? without Will. What do you have for me? But it's gone now. I checked everywhere. Still no yeah. sign of the asset. Well, go do your can thing. Can we call off this pointless I'll search already? Let's not forget who let it slip away in the first place. Now, I'd like to see results by nightfall. Do you think you can manage that? Hold on. I think I see something. Think? The Spectre had instructions to assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. Could it be Altea, really? Spectre unit da -da -da, orders received. Prime directive assist recovery of the asset. Continue monitoring the Sutter. Huh. Well, I guess we're not gonna go away for quite some time, guys. Can <gasps> I get this? No? Okay. Osiram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Hmm. Even more sus. Ah. Ah. Our weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Well, I guess it's a good preparation for my six hour stream. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Errand. Do you? Because I don't. Are we gonna climb up there? All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I mean, it did work. <laughs> I've known tinkers to do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress. If it blew up. She was searching for something she lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the asset. The asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing you said could be here? Eleuthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Val. Ooh, a purple box. Oh, my pack's full. I can get it for my stash later. Oh, what is this? That's a long way down. Something tunnels yes. straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That Zenith the Rebels killed was looking for something called... 
The asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. I don't know, I'm just scared because this side quest kind of makes me think that one of them is gonna die or even both and I don't like the There's idea of that. Old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah, from the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eluthia, found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Ah! Don't sentence them so quickly. I will try. That's it. Can't go that way. Okay. What? Aloy, please. And won't go that way. Ah. Oh, it's in here. Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. Hmm. Entry, storage unit access, data transfer initiated, operations suspended, fusion reactor on standby mode, download initiated, beamcast initiated, destination reducted. Ah. What is this? I've never seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. Hmm. This was a far zenith research lab. It looks like oh. a lot of data was beamcast from here recently. From that device nearby. So Eluthi is gone? If it was ever here, then probably. Then why were the Zenith still searching for the asset? Thank you. So, exploring another far Zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Uh, don't jinx it. This place is big. I either go up or down. I will go down first. Huh. From Stone Chiao to FD research staff, priority shift. Oh, as you will undoubtedly have heard by now, we have lost the brightest star among us. Research on ectogenesis for the Odyssey was near and dear to Peter, and on behalf of the new High Council, I commend you for all your efforts and the great strides made over the last several years. Yet as we mourn our founder, we must also keep our gaze on the bright future ahead. To that end, we will be shifting project priorities. Over the coming days, you will be briefed on ex exciting developments in longevity research from our Tokyo and Lagos facilities, with new assignments to follow. In the meantime, all ex extogenic chambers should be moved to storage. Refer to your list with any questions. Oops. All 
all this stuff. Wonder what they were doing here. Well, knowing Far Zenith, probably discovering amazing things for their own benefit. Find anything mm. that might tell us what the asset is? August 19, 2064, data corrupted. Has seen a significant improvement decreasing the time between touch ups that commercially available treatments like Osmantus Rejuvigine require. As for Malik's team, the latest results from their neurophysiology experiments seem promising, and with the supplementary data provided by a Tokyo facility, we seem to be closing in on functional first generation implants. Meanwhile, our friends in Zurich have sent over their findings on WBE mixed results, a couple of promising avenues, but anything bordering on real digital transcendence looks to be decades away. If not, data corrupted. Uh -huh. I don't think so. So they were experimenting with implants. Some kind of oh. storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. Hold on. Wait, not this way. I want to see what is up this way, though. Is it the same place that it's gonna lead us to? I wanna make sure that I don't miss anything. Okay, I can't go in there apparently. I wanna go in there though! Let me in! to scan that opening no so um how is Aaron taking all of this really well Gaia the zeniths the focus it's a lot from Daniel and Michael to Claire Naguyan, spoon fed. January 18, 2065. Claire, wish you'd been on the call with me with Zero Dawn. Whoever negotiated this deal with them was ingenious. A bunch of our old tech collecting dust in storage in exchange for a copy of all human knowledge. Talk about a bargain. And the guy heading up the Alutia subfunction, Patrick Brochard Klein. You could particularly see sparkles in his eyes and he was bombarding us with follow-up questions on the extogenic chamber's design. It was like we were waving catnip in front of him. Anyway, they are requesting additional material on nutrition delivery. Higher-ups gave the go-ahead, so send over everything we have. Rohat Klein will, Rohat Klein will probably be spansingly. Damn, these when bastards. When I caught up to him in the dawn and said you needed our help, he dropped everything and turned around. Well, he's loyal. That's for sure. They had really advanced technology, but they decided to just simply not give it to Zero Dawn. They were like, oh, we're leaving Earth. Goodbye and good luck. You can just die here if you want, I guess. about this place though it kind of looks like that we are preparing for a fight feels like that to me too many supplies
do my HP potions, medicine other like kinda sus. It's not good, yeah, right? Like I'm just getting to access the storage units. A lot of things. Tell us if the asset is in one of them. Oh, let's find out. Well, let me look around first. Before I let all hell lose. And suddenly an auto save, right? Yeah, this room has nothing, I guess. All right. You know what? Let me just. You know. Restock. Everything. Just in case. 236 containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. 236? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? Uh... You're right. I should check the log. 237, I think? I remembered! Wait, 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 that's a person. What the heck? Wait, that's another. Ooh. They cloned her even before? Aloy. Or it's the exact person. It's you. That we saw at the beginning. Skins like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Wait, so she ran away? She could run away? I'm so confused. I have so many questions. Uh, uh, apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, Beta? My name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but if you're viewing this, I, I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have a Lucia, Artemis, and Apollo now. Apollo? But at least they don't have the Gaia Colonel to march them with. Alive. Can we take her with us? No, okay, okay, I see. No, really? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you, the other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. Please, I want her as my ally. It would be so cool. And I should prepare before the specter gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. Yeah, I knew that we're gonna have a big fight. I just knew it, like for real. Oh, hi then. How are you doing? Well, I'm kind of done. Like, I prepared. Where is it? Oh. Ooh, ah! Okay, uh... 
Holy shit. Holy cannoli. Ah! Okay. I did scan it, Aloy. I'm trying my best. Oh my god. Oh no, I am at a very bad location. Oh! Okay, let's go down, 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 let's go down. Come now, bitch. That was a big miss. Ah! Okay. Ouch. No ammo. Okay. Oh my god! The good I'm beating those robots up. Thank you! It's good to hear that you're good! I don't think I'm doing any kind of damage to him. Like I'm trying, but like I'm not really winning here, guys. Oh. Like, it says that it has this weakness, but... Oh! Oh my god! Ah. Okay, maybe I should use this. Okay, this working better. Hey! Good good boy. Ah! Ow. Ow. Right in your ass. Ow. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Run, 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 run. Ah. Critical hit. No. Oh, God. Oh, I was greedy. Oh, no. Fuck, 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 fuck. I was greedy. I'm so dead. Ah! Please, 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 please. Okay, and I forgot to use my velor thing. I don't know if it helps anything. Okay. Where is that shit? Come on now! There. Are you okay, Aloy? I'm yeah, splendid. I'm up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. Oh, what is wrong with you, Auto Mod? Sorry about that. <laughs> yes. I didn't do poo poo. Wait, did I miss a loot there? No, I was just imagining. Oh boy, I was not ready for this. Get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. Uh, I don't blame it. I was just quoting you. <laughs> yeah, Automat can be sometimes a little bit strict. But hey, GG's thanks. Ah. I'm running! Yeah, the Spectre's dug its seals in. It's got me pinned down. Hang tight. I'm almost there. Just hurry. 
Is he gonna die? I'm almost out there, Aaron. Please, don't oh, die on me. Right. I gotta get to Aaron. Took me just to be there, but well, unless with this weapon, it's pretty good. Aaron, I'm here. Oh! Watch out! That thing's shooting down the center. Oh what? Okay. Oh, this is not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. It's got some kind of shield up. Ooh, there's a weapon here. Now eat this. Oh my god. Yeah, too close. Ow. Oh my god. Okay. Where are you? Don't run away now. Oh my god. He's a bit more feisty. Out of ammo. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm splendid. No ammo. Oh no. Yeah, let's stop and crush. Am I gonna get a new weapon? Hmm. Oh boy! <sighs> okay. Uh. <sighs> Aloy, she's. Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. <laughs> Aaron. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer. But we need to get her back to the base Free immediately. Up NPC. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for then? She's kind of broken, though. Like, you two go on I don't know if it's a. I if need to take a like, look at that weapon. A silver line or something. But like, drop it. Don't jinx it yet, okay? Don't jinx it yet. We we, we don't know yet. I can figure out how that thing works. Maybe the Zenus won't be so invincible after all. Okay, let me loot. <sighs> boop, 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 boop. Actually proud of myself that I did it. I lost a couple of braces, but <laughs> can be too much condom set. Be cool to have two buddies. I mean, I'm not so sure. I mean, I can have my PNG tuber in this one at the same time, I guess somehow. No. Oh. oh, damn it! Maybe we can take the ball. That's my PC, I don't think could handle it very well. I need to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenus. I should 
and check on the clone too. Burl, where's our guest? We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay. Aloy, glad you made it back okay. Yes. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. Oh, that's probably for the best. Hello? Poor thing called Beta. Not even giving her a real name. It's, uh, it's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of sensory freefall. Everything real feels unreal, distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so the descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who uh -huh. left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you are... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. Oh. Uh. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Guy and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they butchered the tribal people we encountered they didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated earth so i concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want mass extinction for their own comfort who thinks like that well without their gaia colonel they'll have a hard time doing that the Zenus needed elizabeth's gene print to access zero dawn facilities so they made you, trained you, and you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. Bastards. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well, surprise. So we're dealing with the same Far Zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? 
They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Zenus set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine wars. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. Hmm. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. Yeah, that I've seems like a lie, honestly. Extra solar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then... Serious. Guess they survived old age too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Bainus dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they believed me. Well done. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure if I believe her full story. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, th the avatars of the archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge, just out of reach, must have been frustrating. The voice actor is really good though, like... She is portraying two different personalities in the same voice. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you 
Want to come upstairs, or so? How long? You know your, your your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy? So, well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single to a single location. Of course not. You didn't even know who the Zenus really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything, everyone. Oh no, hey. she's having a panic attack. Calm down. I don't blame her. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. Wow, well, that conversation went well. Talk to Guy and I will call it today for real. Hello, the brain and hello, the muscle. Once they start to work together, <laughs> true. Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah, I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield. But it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the Zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Oh. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Silence. Yes! Based on your data on him, that I is knew my it. conclusion as well. I just knew he's not going to cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Silence's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. Hey, what can we Hi, talk Gaia. about? Hello, Earth. Aloy. I'll be Never mind. Huh. I, I don't want to talk. Travels. We can talk later. You know, I need to find camp. 
Oh no, do they have a quest for me? It's a little loud, Aaron. What? <laughs> I know. It makes you want to punch something. More like someone. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find it. People make mistakes. Hey. Yeah, hey, I would just snatch this quest hey. and thought I'd uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have sure. time, that is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Well, that's great. Uh, maybe. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines uh -huh. similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then... Use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. Okay. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. 